It's the type of art that is slowly fading away. Ready, you guys? Five, six, seven, preparation. I teach Mexican ballet folklorico. Mexican ballet folklorico is Mexico's form of folk dancing, which has different influences depending from what region from north to south. Uh, dancing has always been a part of my life and, well, of course, with my parents. I've always grew up seeing it danced. So when I was small, um, family events or multicultural events, I would always see people dance it in it. It always caught my attention until later on, my more teen years uh, is when I actually started dancing it. That's when I actually, you know, grew more fond of it and now well, that's what I do. I teach it to the younger generations to help them get more influence and be more attached to their culture. I believe that it's important to teach ballet folklorico, especially Mexican ballet folklorico, to the younger generations of those of my race and heritage, because I believe that it is important, especially here in the United States, for them to be more intact, like more connected to their culture, since here it is a melting pot and you get a little bit of influence from different countries. I believe that they should always at least know a little bit of where they're from and where their parents are from. <laughs> Even if you're a teacher, you don't know everything. I mean, it's something that's down like from history and from generation to generation, and it's something that that you can't like put your finger and cover it and be like, oh, I know everything, you know? Everyone learns. It is something hard, but with practice and dedication, it is something that, that you know, you could pull along. Something that makes me feel very connected with my, with my culture, but also with my parents and everyone else. For my family who have danced it before, I feel more like a bond, like a connection, like something you feel in your heart.